Star Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass in less time than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Good morning, afternoon, good day, guys. It is Sunday, September 21st, and... Oh, what a day. Okay, it's noon, exactly, and I'm not even close to being awake yet, but that's okay. So, Sunday is vlog day. What are we going to talk about? We are going to talk about board games, because that's the Project Chronicle theme, and I realized when I didn't have anything to talk about, Project Chronicle kind of saved my ass. So, um, I have an interesting relationship with board games. So, I didn't really become super, super nerdy until I started dating this guy, or at least didn't acknowledge my super, super nerdiness, because he tells me I was a nerd long before he came around. But... Um, board games were always something that I really, really enjoyed. Now, I didn't know about a lot of the European-style board games, um, but I played Monopoly, I played Life, I played Trivial Pursuit, I played Fictionary, I did Sorry, and all the kind of traditional family, regular board games that are available pretty much anywhere. And then, I started hanging out with a group of friends that introduced me to my husband, and I learned how to play Munchkin. And that game changed my life. Um, it was funny it was interesting I wasn't used to a game where you the purpose was to kind of half the fun was screwing over other people so that was a blast and then I'm gonna minimize this because I keep looking at myself um and then once I got into that just I discovered what tabletop gaming was and then I played Settlers of Catan and I played Ticket to Ride and it just kind of was crazy um and then after we've been living together for a few years we were at this, some store and I saw Mousetrap and I was like, oh my god, I forgot how much I love this game. So we got Mousetrap and I forgot how much fun board games would be and then that just kind of set me on a crazy shopping spree. Um, so I will kind of go over my favorite of all time tabletop games. Um, so in some circles there are four... Uh, tabletop games, European style tabletop games that are considered to be kind of the four pillars of the tabletop gaming world. You have Ticket to Ride, you have Carcassonne, you have Settlers of Catan, and you have Alhambra. I've never played Alhambra. I really, really want to get it. I watched it on tabletop. That's another thing. I am obsessed with tabletop. That show is amazing. Anyway, but it looks really fun and I would really like to get it at some point. I own the other three. I'm not that crazy about Settlers of Catan. I like the style of gaming and I like playing it with friends. I find it drags on and the pieces always warp and that just gets old really, really fast. Um, Ticket to Ride I played first when I was in high school and I loved it and it was one of the first ones we ended up buying um, once we kind of started deciding to collect tabletop games. Um, and it's one that we've played with my parents, we've played with my husband's parents and they got a huge kick out of it. Carcassonne we've only just gotten, we got a few weeks ago, I think maybe a month ago, and it I watched them play it on tabletop and I went this looks really fun I'd like to get it and it's been a blast I absolutely love it and I like to think I'm good at it and then I play with my husband and he trumps my ass every single time he's crazy good at it um, Munchkin is definitely one of my favorites we have a lot of the different variations on it we have Munchkin Bites the vampire one Munchkin Booty the pirate one which is probably my favorite um, we have traditional Munchkin with almost all of the expansions for it uh, Munchkin Foo do we have Super Munchkin? Yeah. We have Super Munchkin. We have Star <coughs> Munchkin. We have a lot of Munchkin. Uh, we have Munchkin Cthulhu, which is a hoot. It's all about cults and stuff. Um, Mousetrap again. One of the Ma Mousetrap and Monopoly are still two of the more and and life, I guess, um, the kind of basic tabletop games that I'm still absolutely in love with. Um, Castle Panic was one I wasn't sure if I was going to like, even after watching them play it on tabletop. But it was a good. It was a cooperative game, which you don't get a lot of in tabletop gaming. Cooperative games, I find, are fairly rare. But we played it with some friends of ours. We played it with your parent, your parents, right? Yes, we played Castle Planet with your parents, and it's so funny. It's just, it's just a hoot. You just, you have a blast trying to destroy goblins and orcs and trolls. Um, and Takenoko was a really interesting one. I never really played anything like it and we played it with my parents and it was just it was a hoot. Um, it's if you that was that is one of the few tabletops that I will say take the time watch the extended version. You've got 
it's not actually from some show that I've never seen, but uh, Ro Rosanna Pansino from YouTube's Nerdy Nummies is in it, and it's halor it's hal horrible, hilarious and adorable. Um, and uh, Harley from Epic Meal Time is on it too, and it's oh, it's it's so funny. Um, Seven Wonders is another one. I've never played that one on tabletop, but we played. We have a group of friends that are really really into tabletop gaming, um, and we've really always enjoyed that one. It's it's a pretty quick one. Um, it takes a little bit to learn, but the it plays so quickly you can do a few rounds of it and by the by the third round by the third game of it you're kind of an expert so that's what that was really fun and then my favorite that pretty much nobody in my circle of friends likes um called resistance and that was one that they did on tabletop and they had felicia day they had um the girl that plays tinkerbala from the guild was on it i don't remember her name um amy something i think uh ashley clements from lucy bennett diaries was in it and then Allison's Gargliotti, Scagliotti, something like that. She was on it. She was. She's from Warehouse, a show Warehouse Thirteen, something like that. I don't know. I don't remember the name of it. Anyway, that one was really good. But it led me into also really liking Werewolf, which is another fantastic game where you, nobody knows who what you are, but you, and you have to try and kill other people. It's just. It's really. It's. It involves a lot of thinking, and it involves some strategy, and it's just. It's a blast. So. Yeah, tabletop gaming. It's amazing. So, I am probably more lean toward that than video games for my favorite pastimes. We do a lot more video games um, because video games are something that you could, I don't know, it's just you can sit and play them for a long time. And board games kind of have a finite set of time parameters. Like, it, a game of Monopoly is, or not, sorry, not Monopoly, a game of Mousetrap is not going to take you four hours. A game of Monopoly could. Um, but a game of Diablo, for example, you can run a couple riffs and you know it's not going to take you longer than an hour. Um, so video gaming I find for multiplayer is a lot more um, predictable for time length. Some tabletop games not so much. So, But I definitely prefer them and uh, yeah. Let me know in comments down below what your favorite tabletop games are or board games. Um, let me know if, and if you have any old favorites from your childhood that I forgot to mention. Um, but yeah, I watch tabletop pretty much religiously. I'm very excited for season three to come out. And yeah, it's, oh, it's so much fun. Also, stay tuned to the Project Chronicle channel. Um, the link to it is in the sidebar if you go to my, well, hold on, let me look. If you're looking at me and I look like this, it's over here. And there should be a link on there to Project Chronicle. And uh, every so often we do Cards Against Humanity on there. Um, we've done Monopoly on there, and it's just, it's a it's a big laugh. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, also, I will be featured in a guest vlogger thing on Chris Weir's channel. Again, check over here for his link um, if you go to my main page. And uh, I am going to do a video on tea again. So I've got all my bag of tea stuff beside me, and that's going to happen pretty soon here. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.